everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Alexo ASMR, and today I will be testing out four microphones that I use for ASMR. That includes the Rode NT1A right here, the Blue Yeti microphone, the 3DL binaural microphone, as well as the Zoom H4N Pro. Now for each microphones, I will some triggers that I have written down so I don't forget and at the end of the video I will give you my opinion on which microphone was better and for which trigger and I encourage you guys to do the same in the comment section below let me know what you like what you didn't like or which microphone was better and which wasn't that good for whatever trigger now I only have these four microphones I don't have a variety like other ASM artists so um I hope this is good enough for of a test <laughs> so now we're just gonna get started with the road microphones and the first trigger is close-up whispering so I'm gonna get started by whispering random stuff into the microphone closed up so these microphones are meant to professional recording like music and I have to buy a pair because I wanted to do the ear-to-ear -ear effect and one of them is not uh, good enough for that or it's not even possible to do ear-to-ear -ear with just one of these and I use the Zoom H4N recorder to record the sounds through phantom power. Phantom power gives these two microphones the power to be able to record since they do not have their own power source and I think these are pretty good microphones and I really enjoy making videos with them they're easy to set up I just plug it in and hit record on the recorder and I'm good to go the quality is not bad and as you can hear close-up isn't too bad either um, it's pretty crisp and clear which is good because it is meant to be for recording music so I think that's good all right next we're gonna do brushing sounds and I have a brush right here and we're gonna get started use my phone, my favorite.
PS4 controller.
does is uh, does a good job. So obviously you can hear that right now as I'm doing this close up whispering. And yeah, um, this one actually got an upgrade recently, I think last year, and it is like Blue Yeti X or something. That was one of the microphones I've considered, but I really, really want to try the Rode. So maybe in the future I will be getting the other one too. Who knows? Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video, and I'm gonna move on to the next trigger. Brushing. sounds.
desert sound. sounds.
scissors out.
like scratching sounds.
my own opinions, you can make your own and I encourage you to do so in the comment section below. So, I'm going to start off with the first triggers that we did, the close-up whispering. I'll tell you the ranking and then my reasoning behind it. So for the close-up whispering, I ranked the Blue Yeti first, then the Rode, then the Zoom, and then the 3DO. And I'll tell you why I ranked the 3DO last, because it just really didn't do for me the microphone actually pick up the S sound a little bit too sharp for me. Like when I say the word this, and then this part was a little bit too sharp. And um, that's the reason it was last. And then for the Blue Yeti and Rode, it was really difficult for me to pick between these two because they performed really well for this trigger. Um, but I chose the Blue Yeti because it was just a little bit better in my opinion. The white noise was louder, but I didn't mind it for this trigger. So I picked that over the Rode. But then they Zoom also did pretty good, but it would just wasn't my favorite when it is being compared to the Blue Yeti and the Rode. Now for the second one, the brushing sounds, I ranked this um, Rode as number one. Uh, second one is the 3DO, then the Blue Yeti, and then the Zoom H4N. And I'm gonna start with why the Zoom was last. The Zoom microphone was a little bit too sensitive when it was being brushed and I felt like the audio sounded a little bit distorted at times when I just brushed the wrong part of the microphone. Um, I wish I could show you actually. So the microphone is right here and I think it's because the way it was built and I don't know. Um, if you listen to some of the triggers where they put like a Q-tip on it, it's very gentle and it sounded really good. But for this brushing trigger, it just didn't sound that good because it wasn't as gentle. And there's a lot of little air on the brush that could go the wrong places and then just kind of ruin the audio for me. So um, I think for this brushing trigger, it didn't do it for me. But if you do like really gentle, maybe it would be okay. And then for this one, it was kind of hard for me to pick um, between the 3DO and the Rode. And I honestly think the 3DO sounded a little bit more realistic, maybe because of the silicone ears. And it just sounded better when it was being brushed. And then the Rode sounded softer though. So, it really depends on how you prefer this kind of trigger. Do you prefer more realistic or do you want it a bit harsher or even softer? But that was the ranking for this part. And then for the third one, we did the lid sound. And I ranked um, the road um, as number one. And then this one, I ranked all three of the other microphones as second place because it was kind of hard for me to determine the differences based, based on just listening to it. I think the only noticeable difference was the background noise. So I ranked them all second place, but I really liked how the sound came out for the road. So I put that as number one and the other three is number two. <laughs> um, so that was a three-way tie and this actually happens quite a few times. Now we're gonna look at the tapping on the iPhone. Here's the ranking. Number one, the 3DO. Number two, the Rode. Number three, the Blue Yeti. And the last one is the Zoom. And um, the 3DO and Rode was um, pretty close. Once again, I couldn't really choose between them. They were both very good for this trigger, but it was just something about the 3DO that put it over the other microphones. It just sounded better for this trigger. And then for the Blue Yeti and Zoom, the audio sounded a little bit fuller. It's kind of hard to explain what that means. It's kind of like, I felt like there was more bass to the audio when I was tapping on the phone. And I, I don't mind it. 
I just prefer like the softer sounds from the tapping. So that's why I rank these two as third and fourth. And then next we are moving on to the clicking sounds from the PS4 controller. Here's the ranking. Number one, the Zoom H4n, then the Blue Yeti and Rode tied in second place, and then the third place is the 3DO. And here's my reasoning. Um, like I said earlier, I didn't like the folder sound from the tapping on the phone, but the folder sound from the clicking, I actually preferred for some reason. I don't know, I'm weird. So that's why I chose the Zoom as first instead, because of the folder audio quality, I guess. And then the, um, what else? But yeah, I just wrote the Zoom as a small edge over the Blue Yeti and the Rode which are both tied in second place. The 3DO wasn't the best for this trigger. Um, the sound came out a little bit too sharp for me when the clicking was happening, and it, it was kind of similar to how the sound came out for the close-up whispering, which wasn't my favorite from the 3DO. And if you're wondering, I listened to the audio and took notes and the ranking all on my laptop. That's why I'm looking down here as I go through it. Number six, um, the water spraying sound. I ranked the 3DO as the first, and then another three-way tie between the other three microphones. I think the 3DO sounded better here. It, like I said, the 3DO sounded more realistic because of the silicone ears. And honestly, if you listen to this trigger, the audio for these microphones sounded really different. The three first is the 3DO. So I picked the 3DO over it, just how it came out, it just sounded better in my opinion. But yeah, there's another three-way tie here for me. All three sounded very similar, hard for me to choose. And um, the only thing noticeable, like I said before, is the background noise, which is higher for the Blue Yeti and the Zoom and lower for the Rode. Number seven is the scratching fabric sound. Here's the ranking. Number one, Blue Yeti. Number two, Rode. Number three, the Zoom. And number four, the 3DO. So I ranked the 3DO last because the sound got picked up a little bit different than the other three microphones and it just didn't sound it clear. For some reason, hard to explain. Well, and then another one of those uh, very close first place with the Blue Yeti and the Rode. They were both very good, but I just felt like the Blue Yeti sounded a little bit better here, and the Zoom also did okay here, just not as good when compared to the Rode and the Blue Yeti. Alright, number 80, zipper sound. Um, here's the vote. What the ranking? Number 1, the 3DO, and number 2, another three-way tie between the same three microphones. Honestly, when it comes to the sound, the 3DO sounded much more different when compared to the other three, which all sounded very similar in some ways. But I think the 3DO sounded better here. Maybe it was the way I unzipped and zipped or how the microphone was positioned, but the sound just came out better for me with the 3DO right there. And um, it just, the sound didn't come out as harsh or rough when compared to the other three microphones, but yeah, it's a three-way tie. They were all very, very similar. Second to last trigger, the scissor sound. I actually talked about this before, and here's my ranking first. The Rode was number one, number two is the 3DO, then the Zoom, and then the Blue Yeti. I don't know what it is about the Rode microphone, but if they pick up the scissor sounds extremely well. Maybe it's how I was cutting right here and the microphone picks up the sound right here. I don't know. But it just sounded so much better in my opinion. The 3DO was also very good here and it sounded nice and not too harsh like some of the triggers. Um, the Blue Yeti and Zoom wasn't bad here either. Um, I just didn't think they were as good as the Rode and the 3DO. But yeah, they were very close to being third and fourth place, so it's hard for me to choose. And last, the writing sounds. Um, 
in first place it was actually the another three-way tie between the road the blue yeti and the 3do um, i mean the zoom um all three of them sounded practically the same for this part um with the background noise being the only noticeable difference and then the 3do didn't sound as good here when compared to the other three it just wasn't picked up as nicely than the other three microphones so there's not much to say about it now i have to say that all of these are my personal opinions and the ranking took me like two to three hours after listening to the audio very carefully you guys should definitely judge for yourself in the comment section i am very interested in hearing what you guys have to say and um i will actually show you the final ranking results between all four of these microphones i will throw it up on the screen <laughs> a little bit of a stutter it's late so if you are looking at the screen or if you're not i'll just tell you the road actually got first place in four different triggers and the blue yeti got first place in three different triggers and the 3do got first place in three different triggers and the zoom got first place in two different triggers so um for second place the road got second place six times the blue yeti got second time second four times the 3do got second four times and the zoom got second place three times and for the road third and fourth never got down there because of the three-way ties but for third place is zero for the road twice for the blue yeti once for the 3do and three times for the zoom and for the fourth pl fourth place the road got zero in the fourth place zero times the blue yeti got it once and for 3do and zoom they both got twice in the fourth place and the three-way tie happened three times for the second place and once for the first place so i don't know i like making charts and tables i don't know if this helps so my final conclusion finally this is a long video <laughs> i think the microphones all have like very specific area where they're good at but the more well-rounded microphones would be the rode and the blue yeti the 3do is good for some situation but not all same thing with the zoom but the 3do i think is better for like role plays because of the sound replicated sound more realistic and then for the zoom is kind of average for me it wasn't bad it wasn't that good i mean i use it as a recorder i rarely use it but it is handy to take it out you know because it's not required to plug into anything else it's just a recorder but yeah, that's my ranking. You guys can tell me what you think. I will leave the timestamp in the description so you can find it and judge for yourself. But that concludes the video. I think it's almost an hour. <laughs> As always, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment and let me know your thoughts and subscribe if you want to. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.